Okay. And... What's your favorite part? I know, prepping shallots. <laughs> Charlotte. Yeah, you like Charlotte. Yeah. Uh -huh. She Charlotte. likes the shallots, the prepping part. Why? <laughs> smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people think it smells good, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We always have to fry up the shallots first. Beginning, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm still making it. And that's your favorite part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Made me cry, but no, no, I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cassandra. Hi, I'm Christine. We are from Mama Lambs. The founders of Malaysian curry peas and hot sauces based in Queens, New York. Today we're doing curry, which still has shallots. Our hot sauce has even more. <laughs> Sometimes people say I look like a witch brewing my pot. <laughs> Stir, stir, stir. So Mama Lambs is my mom. <laughs> um, it, it's really about her story because we started, we currently have Malaysian curry paste and hot sauce and that's what she started making 30 years ago when she immigrated to New York um, because her favorite bowl of noodle soup is a curry mi, which is also like sometimes known as curry laksa or like curry, we call it curry noodle soup just so that everyone knows what it is. So. We're in my home kitchen right now with my mom. We're gonna do a, the curry laksa curry mee that my mom loves. And then we're gonna do a curry chicken with potato. That's a fan favorite and also my favorite. Um, but yeah, didn't you like, you wanted to make curry at home because you like gali mee, right? Yes. Yeah, gali mee is curry mee. <laughs> yeah. So we, um, we just added the broth with some water in and then the curry paste. The fish balls we do, like this one's actually a Malaysian brand that we, I got. 1985, you really cannot eat Malaysian food. Okay, so when you got to New York, you couldn't find, find Malaysian any Malaysian food, food yeah. Mm, only one place in Chinatown. You see the color? So I tried to cook by myself. So I asked my family and how to cook and I cook, I cook it for, for my daughter, for my husband. The whole family, they like my curry too. They <laughs> love my curry. It, what's funny about like my mom is that like she like she has this amazing curry paste and hot sauce, but growing up she like did not have to cook as much. <laughs> okay, so that's the broth. My mom's um, one of 10 kids. Um, she grew up in Uluyam, which is outside of um, KL, Kuala Lumpur, yeah. and it was only coming to New York. Yes. You, you learn from Ba? The, my, uh, cooking. the cooking, yeah, I learned from my husband. My dad. <laughs> but then she's very meticulous about like, find, like doing it again and again to get the right like taste and proportion. So that's why her, her curry paste has like been perfected. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, so this is the finished product, um, about 10 minutes. You just let everything boil and cook down and that's pretty much it. And now you can have lunch. <laughs>in Malaysia, curry laksa, curry mee is like the most common like dish you can find anywhere, like down every corner. When you feel hungry, just go to eat curry mee. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you would eat it all the time? Yeah. It's like a okay, street food, like a, yeah, pretty much. Every day. So then yeah. like being in New York, you can't access that all the time. So then that's why she ended up making curry paste at home. We like it really golden. That's why I tell people that we do the hard work for you. <laughs> You, you taste the garlic, you taste the shower on it. We oh. use a lot of shallots. Yeah, we use a lot. We probably use at least 100 pounds of shallots a week to 200. This is the curry powder mixed with the coconut milk. So we just make it like a very paste consistency and then we cook it into the shallots and garlic. My mom's definitely like taste tested a lot of different types of curries, uh, blends, and this is the one that she liked the most. And so she's been using it for over 30 years. When I cut it, I smelled it. Yes, that is the smell I want. How did you find your curry powder? Uh, oh, actually from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tradition curry from Malaysia. <laughs> no wastage. <laughs> when you cook it down, and with the garlic especially, it gives you oh, like a full, full like savoriness to it. Mix it in. 
<laughs> He's gonna be like a fast forward video of stirring. <laughs> like it gets really tiring. So the curry is definitely more on the popular and just feels less heat. But for the people who want spice and love spicy, they're they're like our most dedicated hot sauce fans. They're just like, it's so good. Um, so yeah, so this is um, the hot sauce we're using today. This was made um, uh, yesterday. So our hot sauce is a lot of shallots, garlic, um, and then it's cooked in sunflower oil as well. Uh, chili peppers, water, and salt. So no shrimp paste in this one. On a scale of one to 10, how hot is your hot? I think at least eight. For, for somebody that eats spicy, it's probably like seven. I'd say seven. But if, it, if someone doesn't eat spicy at all, I, I don't ever tell them to try the hot sauce. Because no, yeah, they will, they will kill, kill try to kill me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty delicious and pretty spicy too. So if you like spicy, definitely recommend it. shortened version of my mom's chicken curry. <laughs> Cause like usually she use a full chicken, but we like to use chicken thighs because it's easier to eat. And also like, you know, you can just have it in your fridge and like chop it up. Curry. Yeah. Boom. So we launched the brand as Mama Lambs in 2016. I feel like we kind of were very like first, like we're pretty much the first to market with a Malaysian curry paste. All right, just let it like absorb that curry. So most of the curry paste that you would find that you would like is imported from Thailand, Malaysia. We're definitely still small, small business. Um, we do produce like, you know, thousands of jars in a year. And the flavors are just like, just amazing. Like people, you can just use it as a seasoning in to add it to anything. All right, we're ready. Trey, we're ready to chart. Curry coming through, curry coming through. Just educating. It's so many people I encounter, I have to educate them. One, curry paste, nobody knows what it is. And then two, we're t yeah. trying to sell Malaysian curry. So it's like makes it two, it's very hot. Two, two obstacles we're trying to like accomplish at the same time. Our traditional medium is definitely our best seller. Uh, the vegan ones are pretty good too. I, I, I love telling people about it because like people are, are willing to learn and like, especially when somebody like says like they don't like curry and they try out curry and they're like, well, yeah, I actually really like this curry. Quality control, sometimes we do a taste test. Just very sporadically though. Okay. Actually like Malaysia's being on the map now, especially with like Ronnie Chang being from Malaysia. Like that's like a huge, like, you know, like putting Malaysia on the map for a lot of people. How did you feel? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy, you know, people like my curry. <laughs> curry. I'm so happy. Yeah. You know, Malaysian food could be one of those like staples where you can have in your rotation every week. So that's really where like this whole idea of like, we should like, you know, introduce Malaysian curry and like her curry specifically to everyone. One chicken, mm. one chicken, one chicken, one chicken. Mmm. Yummy. That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza Deguia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.